I find your lack of faith disturbing. Perhaps you're not as strong as the Emperor thought. Disclaimer. The commentary in the following video clips is complete satire and in no way expresses what is actually going on in the video clips, nor is it an attack on the individuals depicted in them. Ha <laughs> Karen! Apparently, Snickers Bar's cravings run in Karen's family. While her Italian cousin Karen was flying, she was hit with just such a craving, but there was none to be had on the plane. What was she to do? Ho messo lei, sta puttana, Troia. Oh, Smettila, dai, da Ma sei veramente una zoccola. Karen heard the woman sitting in the row in front of her tell her that maybe she should have bought a Snickers at one of the airport shops before boarding. Well, Karen didn't like her comment or her hair and let her know about it. Karen then further implied that the woman sitting in the row in front of her was wearing a wig and tugged on it for good measure. As the flight attendants came to the woman's rescue, Karen, knowing she was in the wrong, but would never admit it, remarked about how her hair looked so much better than the woman's hair that she pulled. Karen, noticing that someone was recording her, tried to take the man's phone. The flight attendants had enough and decided that she needed a good time out. Cotton kicked and pitched a fit like a toddler, but the flight attendants being trained for such a situation prevailed. Ha <laughs> Karen! Meanwhile, halfway around the world, Karen's elderly mother, Karen with a Y, was with her husband at a bar trying to score a Snickers bar. She seemed to have forgotten that Snickers bars are legal and could be found at any store. The man tried to tell her this, but it didn't sit well with Karen with a wise husband, and he felt he had to defend his wife's honor and punched the guy. In doing so, the man defended himself and shoved Karen with a wise husband away from him. He's old! He's 70 years old! What are you doing? Obviously, Karen with a wise husband was first and foremost on her mind as she was distraught over seeing him lying on the floor. I really hope he was okay. However, her husband, elderly or not, did hit first and the man had every right to defend himself. Ha <laughs> ha, Karen! Across town, Karen with a wise daughter, Karen with a C, is at the pharmacy picking up some prescriptions. 
Apparently, she needs her prescriptions and her time is important, damn it. Hold on, son. We're waiting. Ma'am, what's yeah. going on? The prescription line we were waiting to see her put people through after people after people. This is a prescription line and we're waiting. There's nobody here. You gonna open it back up? You gonna open it back up? I married my fiance today. I apologize for that. So Karen with a C, having just buried her fiancé that day, is using her grief to demand service from the busy pharmacy employees. Nice, Karen with a C. But that does not excuse you from being nasty. We've been waiting 30 minutes while person after person over here just checked your phone. This young lady is going to help you in just a second. It wasn't, okay, if you have one line, then you should be treating everybody. That's all we have here, the people you see. Karen with a C, having to wait 30 minutes is not having it anymore. How dare they help other people who are also picking up their prescriptions instead of catering to her wants. I don't even believe this is not a church. This is not something I, I have to be quiet. I am in charge. I know you may not. You're in charge. Go ahead. I know you may not like that, but I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I don't care. Be quiet. No. Be quiet. Be one of the pharmacy employees, having enough of Karen with a C's demands, tells her to be quiet, which sends her into a temper tantrum. Poor Karen with a C, she just can't catch a break. Ha <laughs> ha, Karen! Meanwhile, Karen with a Y's brother and his wife were across town at the local Walmart doing some much needed shopping. It appeared that someone said he did something or said something and that someone told others around them. I really am not sure, but it sent him into a full-blown hissy fit and he took his frustration out on an employee who was helping him. Apparently, this must not be atypical behavior from Darren because during his hissy fit, his wife took the cart and walked away as if she didn't want to be seen with him. Bullshit. She's just, still over there. Why are you talking to her that way for, dude? Huh? Why are you talking to her that way? You're so what do you dude, care? You're disrespectful what do you to a, care? a woman, dude. That's her job. Dude, it's not her job it's to get yelled a, at by you. She's not a woman, a man. She's you're cursing at her. You're cursing at her. You got some great manners Shut there, dude. Your Put your mask up, bro. Huh? Mask up. Come on. How about I cough on you? Oh, oh. Mm. How's that? You're a great dude, aren't you? Darren apparently didn't take kindly to being called out for his behavior and hurled abuse at the customer who called him out. Bravo, Darren. Bravo. Ha ha, Karen! Karen's nephew, Darren, went to the local smoke shop to buy her her much needed Snickers bar. But while trying to check out, realized he left his mask nowhere. The clerk behind the counter told him that unless he has a mask on, he could not be served. You just know better. <laughs> or you could just be respectful to the other people. That I'm respectful have to, to me. I gotta live. I can't breathe. All right, what the fuck? Go. I'm gonna kill my goddamn self because you scared or something? <laughs> Darren, like all of Karen's family, is severely nearsighted and can't see past his own nose. So seeing others has been quite the challenge in his everyday life. <laughs> That's not how it worked, man. You're gonna die for wearing a I'm mask for five minutes? I'm not dead, how am I gonna die? Are you gonna wear I'm a mask just, for five minutes I and die? I cannot breathe, do you understand Are you gonna that? die after five minutes of wearing a mask? I may, I'm not gonna take that chance. My life is very important. I'm not gonna take a chance with it because you're right. scared of something. Cool. Darren, whose nearsightedness is quite severe, flatly rejects the clerk's words. Cool. Um, I can't have a gun to protect me, but I got to wear a mask to protect you. <laughs> that don't make sense to me. That sounds stupid. Who's threatening you that you need I a gun? I didn't say you was threatening me. I'm just stating the fact. Why I said the law says we can't have a gun to protect ourselves, but we got to wear a mask to protect somebody else. No, that don't make sense to me, man. Well, it's I got to wear a mask to protect me. I'm in charge of my health and this security. This is private property. Else? 
and it's a private business, so we are allowed it's to not make a the private rules. Business. The definition of a private business is public contamination. You're open to the public, man. We are open to the public, but I'm this public. is a privately owned business. It's the, the definition of that is public and you are, man. And you are, a, you are a not. You pay federal taxes, right? You pay federal taxes, right? So that means you got to accommodate everybody. That does not mean that. That's no. what that means. Darren tries to bring up some arguments against masks protecting people like guns, the old standby of public accommodation versus a private business, and federal taxes. As if those have anything to do with him not wearing his mask and not getting served. We have the right to refuse service. You have the right to refuse services. For what reason? Because you don't like Because you are not wearing a mask. You are not following our rules. That's, that's civil discrimination. Because I'm black. Yes, Darren just went there. Why not resort to bringing up his skin color? He is bringing up everything else to justify his refusal to wear a mask. No, absolutely not. Well, what the fuck the problem my is? My godson's man? black, my man. That's okay, not, so that is not an issue. You're not wearing a mask. That I don't have issue. to wear a mask. That's and not you're a law. yelling at me. That's not a law. You yeah, it is. Me? It's actually a law that if we Show tell you, if we tell you, you have to wear a mask in our store. Me. Show me the law. I'm not going on my... You can't show me Santa Claus. You can't show me the Easter Bunny. That shit don't exist. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. The real reason why he won't wear a mask. Complete denial. We'll see when the cops get here, sir. They, well, I'm waiting on them. Me too. Because I haven't broken the law. You telling me that I got to wear a mask because you said you don't even know me, man. Doesn't you don't matter. know what medical condition I got enough. Everybody else wears a mask no, in everybody here. Everybody don't. My son don't wear a mask. My mama don't wear a mask. Did your mama come in here? Did your dad, did your son come in here and wear a mask? Because everybody to, who I'm comes in to here has to wear a mask. I'm to spend money and you stopping me. He is right. Not everyone wears a mask, despite the recommendations and mandates of cities, counties, and states. You stopping me from doing business. Sir, you're stopping you. No, I'm not. You can just pull you that thing up for quick. Don't talk about a mask. I told you I can't wear a mask. Well, My at, doctor said at this, not to wear at one. This point, so we're not, you, you a at this point, we are not you're going to... You're not a license to, to practice medicine because this is a medical apparatus. Well, you're a lawyer and he's a doctor. You gonna tell me to wear a medical apparatus? You I am not. To practice I am medicine? not serving you. Even you have a letter of I am not going to serve you. To you will you not be served here. Now the medical exemption argument kicks in. He has a mask or scarf or whatever around his neck, but he calls it a medical device. Darren just doesn't get it. Karen. Karen finally getting a chance to run to the bank forgot her mask yet again. After waiting in line for 10 minutes, she was told that she needed to wear a mask or she had to leave. Karen, not wanting to wear a mask, refused to leave. The bank had no other recourse but to call the police. Hello. The woman at the bank tells the police officer that they have asked her to leave. Okay. Ma'am, I'll say if, if they ask you to leave, you have to leave. My money is in this bank and I'm going to take it out. Well, then you have to abide by the rules and you and have to have a mask on. Is, this is a state? It's not. Exactly. Businesses have the right to refuse service even if you're not wearing That's a mask. Why That's you their take choice. My money out. Awesome. Okay. Well, you need to go and get a mask and then take your money out. You're not allowed to do... Ma'am, listen, minutes. we're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. What are you going to do? Arrest me? Yes, for intruding on premises. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Karen tells a police officer that if the bank is telling her what to do, then they are not good enough to keep her money. The police officer tells her that she has been asked to leave and tells her that he will arrest her for intruding on premises if she doesn't. And you believe in this? I believe in it. Do you believe in this? The laws, yes. The law says that I do not have to wear a mask. You can not in public, my but you're right. not in public. You're not in public. My, yes, I'm not going to argue with you about place. this. This is not a public okay, place. I'm this Mr. is a private I'm, business. I'm no, you're business. not. We're going to go outside. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm kidding? Well, I don't know because let's let's walk, go walk outside. You've got some issues. I've got issues that you're taking away okay. people's human rights. Okay. 
I said, let's go outside. Is let's it going to shoot me, people? Is no. it going to shoot me for trying not to breathe? Cool. Come, cool. On, Come on, dude. Don't re oh, don't do that. Karen really did it now. Her privilege showed big time. This is only going to end in one way. Oh, no. Do not touch me. Who do you think you are? 2010, one oh, back thing. up, back up. Some old lady is getting handcuffed here. Ma'am, put you your hands behind you your back. Here. Say, it. you don't stop resisting. Are stop. You, are you gonna? Is anybody gonna like get real here? Really? Relax. No one's gonna get real. Wow. Come on. Oh, you smash my head down now. Now you're smashing my arm into my private area. Your private area? Yeah. Put your hands behind your back. My hand is behind my back, sir. This one. Turn over on your stomach. Put your hand behind your back. Relax. Karen further asserts her privilege. The people in the bank have seen how she behaved, and her pleas go unheard. No, you are not relaxed. Not relaxed at all. Wow, what a bunch of sheep. You're hurting me. Oh, I'm filming it. This is like cutting. Yeah, this okay. Like Stand up. Stand up. Stand yourself up. And how do you suggest, sir? I am like a 65-year-old woman here. Okay. Karen tries to elicit sympathy from the police officer by stating her age. However, it doesn't work. What Sit are you up. doing? Stand up. Ayúdame, por favor. Stand up. Ayúdame, por favor. Are you trying to speak Spanish to people? I do speak Spanish. Okay, well stand up. Karen tries everything she can think of to get out of the situation that she put herself into. Are you happy now, lady? Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm not happy. You, okay, you stand up. Stand up. I refuse to listen to the Come on. You know what? I think She's getting yourself. Come on. I think you broke my freaking foot. Okay. Apparently, while Karen was resisting arrest, she hurt her foot. But, of course, blames the police officer. I'll call her. And that's my business over there. Yeah, she's going to pick it up. Come on. We're going outside. Oh. One in custody. Wow. Not wearing a mask, people. This is what they do to you. No, Karen, refusing to leave when you were told is why you were arrested. Let's slow everybody down. Okay, um, I've got my dog in my truck. I got trailer. you. I'm 10 4. Uh, send EMS for a 60 year old white female. She's complaining of uh, foot pain. Yeah. You Take broke a seat. my damn foot. Take a seat. 49, we're out with Okay. Take a seat. Are you, where's your mask? Where's your I'm mask? six feet away from you. Oh, well, I was six feet away from those people All in right, there, too. In there. Get inside. Come on, you guys. Get Let's inside. get real. Karen forgets that when outside and away from others, you can take your mask off. Will Karen ever learn?